Saturday, February 6th, Diane, Lori, Marissa, and I paddled out of Safe Harbor at Loch Lomond in San Rafael, headed out to West and East Marin Islands, about a mile offshore in San Francisco Bay. It was a warm and sunny day with no wind and glassy conditions. As we approached the islands, we had a swerve to avoid a shallow projection from West Marin Island. Then I turned around, looking back at the shore and at my companions. As we paddled between the islands, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge was stretched out ahead of us a mile or two south. Passing East Marin Island, I saw a sign that said watercraft must keep a hundred yards offshore. And if I could read this sign, I was too close. I pulled further out and motioned to my friends to follow. The Marin Islands, offshore from San Rafael in the north part of San Francisco Bay, comprise the Marin Islands National Wildlife Refuge, established in 1992. The submerged tidelands surrounding the islands are also included in the refuge. This refuge is the property of U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and requires special permission to visit.
After rounding the islands and turning away from the site of the long bridge, we headed north, Marissa and I slowly pulling away from Lori and Diane. Marissa is one of the strongest paddlers I know, and keeping up with her was a chore and not always successful. We saw something sticking out of the water, and it became our destination. As we approached, we saw th these were pilings right off of industrial dock at Dutra Materials. There were no signs of human activity that day. Beyond Dutra, we rounded Point San Pedro with two barren islands offshore. These are called the Sisters. A bit further up was McNears Beach County Park, where we hoped to land, get out and stretch before heading back. Unfortunately, the tide was low and we would have to walk almost 100 feet in shallow water and thick mud to reach the beach. So we turned around to head back, meeting up with Diane and Lori near the harbor. Paddling back to the ramp three hours and over seven miles later, we were tired and hungry, so we stopped for a deli sandwich at Andy's before heading home. It was a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.